What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Right, literally, in today's video, guys, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you some Moose Knuckles, okay? Now, for some of you who are not familiar with who Moose Knuckle is, they're a Canadian-based outerwear brand, very, very similar to Canada Goose and also similar to Nobis as well, okay? There's very, very few places in the UK that sell Moose Knuckles. Oh man, yeah, just hurt my leg. Anyway, boom. what Icarus have gone and done is they've gone and sent us a whole bunch of moose knuckles bits, okay? It's literally a mystery box. I don't know what's in the box. All I know is they sent some moose knuckles over and I'm super gassed to get into this mystery unboxing. But this is the first time that I can really get into the jacket, see what the quality is saying, see what it's all about. And just basically, yeah, just, just check the jackets out, man. Yeah, it makes sense. I can't even reach the, I can't. Oh man. Uh oh. Right, one, two. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was so cold last night, I went to go and watch the fireworks and I was wearing my Stone Island tea resin ice shell jacket. This jacket is super, super light, but super warm. Love this piece. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try this on and then match it up with the rest of the jackets because I might as well do that. First thought of it, the weight is quite nice to it. Obviously the logo is gonna be a bit loud for some people. It's gonna be a bit loud for me personally. But yeah, in my younger days, I would have definitely have rocked something like this. For the younger guys out there, this might be something which is quite a cool little sweat, okay? D here, you've got this kind of nice, very tight fabric. Almost reminds me of Fendi a little bit, the way they've done that. Definitely, in my younger days, this is something I would have rocked. I really did like kind of big logos and stuff like that, and kind of out there stuff, finding that I'm liking more subtle stuff. So big logos, for me, is not something that I would rock too much. Right, so the first jacket I'm gonna try on from the Moose Knuckles is this puffer, bomber looking jacket, okay? Now, first thoughts on this, I wasn't overly impressed with some of the design. The design, you've got these very fine lines. I don't know, I, I didn't think it looked like a premium product, in my opinion, okay? Woo. The first thing I'm gonna notice is that when I put the jacket on, I felt a lot of puffiness, a lot of air, which is really nice. It feels really warm, it feels really snug, so that's a good thing. I guess with Canada Goose, the equivalent to this would probably be something like the Highbridge jacket or the Lodge jacket, okay? I'm not really a fan of the Highbridge, but I do love the Lodge jacket, and I feel like this can be the contender. Now, just to look at the name, I wonder if it's got the name. The Whitewood Puffer Digital Camo Jacket, and it's on at five bills, okay? Look at this label, man, that's really cool. I haven't seen anything like that. It's a little bit of a reflective, can you see that? That is really cool. So they're using an authentication code, but you can see the patchwork they've got there, very similar to Canada Goose, and they've got the moose knuckles there. Then if you look at the zips, they are using YKK Vizlon zips. Not too bad, let's move on to the next one. Haha, <laughs> Mate, the weight on this jacket is just nuts. This is a really heavy jacket, man. No word of a lie. We look on the inside, you can see you've got a little bit of a logo there. Wearing this jacket, feeling the quality of it, it's like, I'm not gonna lie, man, I'm really, impressed it feels like how a jacket should be just really kind of snug well built just know that you've got a premium a premium item because it just feels really rigid wow 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 so on the inside of the pockets very similar to Novus and Canada Goose we can see that they are using fleeced pockets if it's raining and it's cold you just literally put your hands in the pockets rummage it around and your hands will quickly warm up and get dry so one of the things I would say is doing this up and sealing the jacket I feel so insulated inside but I know there's people out there that are not fans of fur I'm not a huge fan of fur but when I put this around like that you can see it feels really really snug and I feel like it could be protecting my head I'm, 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 I must say first impression so far is, is, is it, it feels really nice does it have more quality than Canada Goose oh it's feeling really rigid I've had a lot of Canada Goose pieces and I don't think I've had any as heavy as a weight as this and the, the as I said the outer construction feels really really just strong and firm okay this is called the Mackenzie Parker and it's dark navy and it's on at an 899 again you can get this over at Equifs um, just check the description on the links below and you can check it out on there, okay? This reminds me of the Chili Whack for Canada Goose. Woof! Oh, mate. 
It feels so nice. Wow, okay. Already I'm feeling like this one is my favorite piece. Now the only thing I have noticed though is these, I have a feeling and I've seen these type of cuffs before. I feel like the quality of the cuffs maybe could be a little bit better. Only because I know that when you have cuffs like this, and I have experienced it, but if you move your hands around and you start brushing this around, this will probably become quite bubbled. I really don't like it when I see that. I'm not saying it will happen, it's just something that I would take a note of, okay? The jacket overall feels really nice. The color, all black goes really well. Then you've got the silver dark badge there. Pockets on the inside of fleece. So again, that's really cool. This is a size large. You can see that you've got loose knuckles on the inside. Now, just to touch a little bit on sizing, so far all the jackets have been large and they're fitting me really, really well. I'm usually a medium to large, around 41 inch chest. So if you're a 41 inch chest, possibly bordering 42, this could be the size for you. But anything above a 42, you're gonna have to size up, get an extra large, I would say. I don't know, man, I, I think I, I think I would go for this, you know, over the chili whack. It just feels, I can't describe the feel, it just feels really solid. Whereas the chili whack, uh, one thing I would moan about about the Canada Goose is over the years, it just seems like they're using a little bit less more down. It just seems like the jackets are getting a little less more f uh, fluffy and puffed up than what I can remember. I, I did notice a couple of times when I went into the Canada Goose store. Whereas this just feels really strong, it feels really tough. And again, I'm just gonna go on about the material. It just feels really, feels really good, man. Right, the final piece. Right, now, first things first. The first thing I noticed when I made that comment about the cuffs, I don't know what it is, but this cuff just feels a lot more better. Doesn't feel like the other cuff. So I do want to note that, that maybe the cuffs and all the jackets are a little bit different, but this one feels like it should be. It doesn't feel as snug. Now, let me just check the sizing on this, if it's extra large. This is a large, but it doesn't feel as snug on the body as the Parker. Now, this one feels a little bit different to the rest. It feels like it's in between the Ballistic Bomber and in between the Parker jacket. So, again, if you're looking for something a bit longer, like a more of a fuller length jacket, go for the Parker. If you like the Bombers, you can go for the Ballistic. But if you like something that's in between, then you've got this one here, and this one is called this is called the men's army jacket. Really liking this one. You can see this one's got the black matte Moose Knuckles logo on there. It's got the black fur on there. It's using the same well-constructed, high-quality outerwear material that it's using. Got a little zip on the arm there, so you can just sit that up, put your bits and bobs in there, and you've got your hood. I think it is nice that they're using different color fur as well. So if you're into your fur, then that could be a nice touch to have a different color, okay? YKK zips in there. It does feel really well padded on the inside. Outer show is made from a cotton nylon material. This explains probably why the material feels really strong and rigid, while the inside lining is made from polyester. So again, I, I believe that there is high qualities being used in this jacket because I can feel it straight away. Guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. A super big thank you to Equus for sending over these jackets. Show them some love. Jump onto the website and check them out, okay? If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share the video amongst your friends and let them know what's popping over at the Hoxton Trend, okay? Woo! I'm out of here. See you next time. Peace out.